why the hell do we have an appendix? <laughs> What, and I think things have changed over the years because I remember med school. It was always like, we don't even need the appendix. Why don't we just take it out on everybody? Yeah. That's why they called it appendix. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we learned that this is just useless uh, vestige from, for some reason, it kind of stayed. It kind of fought off the Darwinian evolution to stay with us. <laughs> Darwin himself actually proposed that it's a, kind of the shrunken remnant of a larger cecum that sometimes we see in cattles. Oh, wait, um, wait, are we about to disprove Darwin? Are we going to be even more <laughs> groundbreaking? Oh, well, this more is where the him. controversy comes in. Yeah. <laughs> but I think there's a, a new view. There's some emerging evidence that, and we talked about this lymphoid tissue. When you look at it microscopically, it has a lot of lymphoid tissue. Uh, and this is part of that gut associated lymphoid tissue area where it plays a big immune roles. Uh, and certainly it has a role in, in microbiome reservoir. It has a role in mucosal defense. So mucosa is the inner lining of the gut. That's where our gut interacts with outer environment, right? So whatever you eat, you know, bacteria that you consume through mouth that comes in contact with the inner lining of the gut. And the reason we don't get sick all the time is because there are this immune police that has a surveillance system of the gut. And, you know, appendix is one part of this. And that's why uh, when we look at uh, anatomy of mammalian species, appendix continues to mm. be there for a lot of the species once they appear on the species. So it does have maybe yeah, some survival benefit. Mm. Uh, to have the appendix, mm, although okay. it's not so true maybe for not so much now. the 